These mouth-watering rolls are so versatile and they can practically be filled with anything you like. Our family favorite way of stuffing them is by using chocolate hazelnut spread, plum jam, or pizza filling. They are the perfect treat to go along with your weekend morning coffee and the kids just love them. Are you salivating yet? Let's get started. Okay, so we begin by combining our egg yolks along with our white sugar and we're going to mix them together for a few minutes until we get a nice creamy consistency. Okay, so now to the egg and sugar mixture, we're gonna be adding our butter, our lemon zest, and lemon juice. If you prefer to use rum, you can do that. We're also gonna be adding our vanilla sugar, our sour cream, and then last but not least, our baking powder. And we're going to mix this all up again. Okay, so now that it's nicely well combined, we are going to be adding in our flour, but we do not do it all at once. It's always best to just sort of go, you know, one cup at a time and then add only as much as you need to form the dough. A helpful tip and hint that was passed on to me from my mummy, my stutter mama, is especially in a recipe that we're using today, to not use the flour, like I said, all at once. And by using a cup at a time, uh, you know, you'll be able to use as much as you need to form the, the dough ball, because sometimes you'll need more and other times you'll need less. You will notice when I'm done mixing this dough, that the dough doesn't actually completely turn into a dough ball. So what I like to do is just, you know, test it out every once in a while and take a few pieces so it has the right texture. So the texture of my dough ball is perfect. I'm just going to sprinkle my surface with a little bit of flour, and then I'm going to get some saran wrap. I'm gonna wrap this ball up, put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. And just another useful tip, you don't wanna be leaving the dough ball in the fridge for more than a few hours, because then the dough ball will get too hard and it won't roll out very well. Okay, so the dough has been chilling for about 30 minutes. I'm going to separate the dough into three balls putting two back into the fridge and then working with the one. Okay, so we're going to dust the surface with a little bit of flour and roll out the dough to a nice circle to about a quarter inch in thickness. So I'm using a dinner plate. My dinner plate is 11 inches large. I'm also using a pizza cutter to cut around the dinner plate to get a nice circle and for accuracy. So my first batch is gonna be the pizza filling. And because the filling is not runny and it is more of a thicker consistency, I do spread it across the entire triangle. And then we will start rolling it up by the wide end of the triangle. They should look similar to like a mini croissant. All right, so now on to my personal favorite, uh, the plum jam. So if you notice, the plum jam is down at the wide end of the triangle, and then I pinch a little bit on the sides of either side of the dollop of jam, and then I roll it up. Now if you notice that your jam is a little bit more runnier, you could always add a little bit of ground walnuts or even breadcrumbs to the top of that just to help to make sure that it doesn't run out during the baking process. Did I say the plum jams were my favorite? I may have lied. So now we're off to the last and final batch. We are going to be adding our hazelnut chocolate spread and I'm doing it the exact same way that I did with the plum where I pinch on either side of the dollop and then I roll it up. These guys are ready for the oven. So all the rolls have been placed on a baking tray that's been lined with parchment paper. We're going to place them in a 350 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Oh man, do they ever smell good. So you know when they're done, when they've got a nice light golden color to them, they should remain slightly pale and definitely not too dark. And then we're going to transfer them onto a wire rack where they can cool down 
Before we serve them, we're going to dust them with a little bit of icing sugar. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you again next time when I share another delicious recipe for my Slovenska cuisine. Until then, Ms. Dravia, Dobrtak, Adio!